Hello, this is Eli at SafeNet. This session is about SL key, which is provisional one. Uh, and uh, I will explain more about what does it mean, but let's start by just uh, invoking the EMS from the vendor suite. So the EMS is the entitlement management system where I can create and manage all the licenses that I'm going to use. The defaults for entering is admin admin. And here I get into uh, the EMS. Now, if I want to create a trialware, trialware is a software that I'm going to put somewhere in, in the website. And everyone would be able, every customer or potential customer would be able to download my application, it's a demo application, and use it uh, in order to, uh, to, learn, to learn this uh, product and to know how, how it works and uh, to practice it a, a bit. Uh, but you will be able to use it only for a, a specific limited period of time, like 30 days, 45 days, etc. Uh, and by doing so, I'm first uh, allowing my customers or my potential customers to be working with my application, but I uh, limit them into working uh, for a specific uh, time, amount of time. So anyone who would like to purchase uh, my application would be able to later on, uh, after arranging all the financial things, will be able to get from me uh, an, an activation process where his application might be, be, might be working with the license uh, for, for one year or for permanent lifetime, etc. But the trial world is based on a perpetual, sorry, on a provisional license. Provisional license meaning just for a, a few days, let's say, for a, a limited time of, uh, of uh, licensing. And in order to, uh, to create one, what I would do uh, is uh, I will go uh, directly into uh, catalog. Uh, first of all, I will make sure that I have the feature, the right feature that I want to create. I've already done uh, feature 8 and product, uh, product LE8. This is, this is normal for every behavior, not uh, specifically for uh, provisional. And then, what you would have to do, if, if you have a product, this product LE8 is a product, uh, I want to show you, is a product that uh, includes feature number 8. But in order to create out of this product, uh, the product that will go eventually to, into a provisional one, and into a trial world license, what I would have to do is to uh, when I stand on this icon, I have the option to create provisional. So I click on provisional, and here I have uh, the option to create a new product, which is a provisional one. So the name maybe would be provisional, provisional 8. Now, the default locking type is SL, SL admin mode. As you can see, I am not able to change it. And so you can understand that when talking about provisional license, we are talking about a license which is a part of SL. SL software lock, meaning that you don't have a dongle to connect to your machine. Instead, you will have a, a license that resides, uh, of course, encrypted, hidden, inside uh, your hard disk, inside uh, between partitions. So, uh, if I go here, configure, I can see that I am allowed to uh, define how long, how many days are going to be used. Let's say 45 days. I want to, the license to, uh, to allow every potential customer to be using my license, my application, for 45 days from the first day when they start working on it. So everyone who is going to, be to, to download my application with the license will be able to use his own 45 days from beginning. 
I can either allow or not, the defaults are don't allow, but I can allow maybe if someone wants to use it on a virtual machine or maybe to use a remote desktop. Uh, and then save it. So now I've created a provisional, so let's save it as complete. And you can see that under LE8 product there is another product which is called Provisional 8 and uh, it has a 45 days license. So this is the very first step, creating a new product for the provisional and defining how many days you want uh, the license to have. Then you go to uh, another place, developer, and over here there is uh, a tab called bundle provisional products. So when I get to this uh, place, I have to add product, and, and here are the list of all the provisional uh, products that I might have. I can bundle several, but in, in general basics, I, I will do it only for one. So I want to include only provisional eight that I've just created. Uh, I can open it and see details about it, 45 days, remote desktop, virtual machine, and now I can create uh, either a V2C or an executable. If I create a V2C then it is a file that will be, a, will be needing to be applied uh, on the end user machine in order to be working. So if I, if I create a V2C then I have to make sure that uh, the V2C will be applied. Uh, I don't want to elaborate how but this is one option. The other option is to create an executable, but uh, let's uh, have enough with just creating a V2C. So I have uh, to uh, save it. And here it is. This is the V2C. Uh, obviously if you open a V2C with any uh, notepad or any editor, you might see that uh, it includes uh, details about about the license. Of course, the de details are encrypted uh, and signed, so no one can abuse it, no one can change it and work it with it. And if someone uses this V2C, suppose that I'm a, an end user who received uh, from you, from, from the vendor, the application, and this V2C to apply, what I will do uh, this is one option is to apply this V2C. So let me show you one way of, of applying the V2C. Uh, but basically, first of all, this is the V2C. This is the license that is going to uh, deploy a license of 45 days on my machine. Uh, let me show you how one option, if I'm an end user, how I can do it. I will open an ACC, Admin Control Center, by HTTP and localhost with port 1947, this is one. I can go Sentinel key and see there's no key. And then I go to update attach and uh, go to this place. Uh, let me recall where it was. Here it is in download. Maybe maybe I will uh, copy it to to the desktop so I'm I can uh, more easily find it. So going back to the ACC, here it is. I will go to the desktop and see this uh, V2C file. Here it is. And apply. Waiting a few seconds. Your update was applied successfully. This means that this V2C was applied on my machine as an end user. And now I have a license for 45 days. Let me see if I can see this license. If I go to Sentinel Keys, I can find out that there is a new created key. This key is called ASPSL admin mode. Uh, it belongs to batch code demo MA, which is for demonstration. It has a key ID, a specific key ID, uh, which of course is different for everyone. 
and I can see that inside the features in addition to zero which is a default always exists I have also feature number eight and both are for 45 days but please note that this is a time period and not started meaning that you have 45 days from the first day that you are going to use the license so if you don't use the license for two months from now no, nothing will happen you will still have the 45 days to be working uh, and let me jump to another uh, another thing maybe if you want to consume this feature aid so I might be using the toolbox to consume the license feature aid so I will go to ask plugin and ask for feature aid but before that I will go to vendor code and choose demo MA because this is what I choose so if I execute it what will happen is as status OK meaning it is successful if I go back to the ACC then I can see session one session for the feature number eight and I can see that this uh, feature eight time period has started so this means that I will have 45 days on, from now from this beginning so to sum up this provisional license allows you to create a license for trial work for applications that are going to reside on end user machine for a trial for 45 days or any time that you would like uh, in order to uh, to be working with your application to see if they want to if they want to purchase it uh, and if not any case they will have a limited time to work on this application so it allows you as a nice as a vendor, software vendor, to uh, allows customers to test and to uh, learn your applications before you per before you purchase them. So it's a nice way of working. This was about provisional licensing. Thank you for watching.